Cause the fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Welcome Hello. to a very, very sunny Cumbria. Sun's just coming up. Is it morning yet? It is morning yet. Sun's just coming up. We're sitting with the heaters on because it's absolutely bloody freezing. Um, um, can I just say something first? I'm not cold. It's just him. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just just getting it in. Whatever. Because them sudden softies. Whatever. So anyway, like I say, we are on our expansive permission in Cumbria. We've got a lovely, lovely sunrise just coming up and over the hills. And we've been out since about what time was it? 11 about 11 o'clock last night um, had some good footage we managed to get the night site up and running eventually after I reworked a new cable for the recorder so we've got some footage for you from last night we're out this morning um, I've got one already but we didn't really have time to get the camera and everything set up for it to get it on camera, but uh, it was a good shot. Why is the lens? You haven't got a lens down? Have you? <laughs> Stupid. Ass. I'm looking at it all. I can see him through the bloody viewfinder. Oh, aye. It's been a long night. Uh, hey, we're going to have a, a mooch around. Um, we're out with the HMRs last night. Um, as you can see on the footage, uh, that's going to follow shortly. Um, the noise doesn't really carry as much as what people think. So, all and that. Have, and you'll have a good laugh at the missus. And we'll, aye, he'll have a good laugh at the missus as well. Not my missus, the missus. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, I think we're delusional, man. It's lack, lack of sleep. Um, but, we're gonna, we're gonna have a look at boots see what's about and uh, hopefully get, get some more, hopefully get some more footage eh? so I've uh, we're playing with the rapier OLED rangefinder last night uh, that little neat little trick there that you've seen the, or some most of you should have seen the video by now if you haven't there is a, a video review on it on the channel um, we tried it out in the dark it is actually bloody accurate um, we pitted it up against my Nikon Pro Staff 550 and the difference was quite a bit um, as much as you like with the OLED it with the what's it called the display that's the one I'm looking for the display was easier to read so, I think Gary's seen oh, he hasn't, he's just sorting some kit out. But uh, we're no longer going to get stuck for those that people have seen on Facebook. I've been getting some new boots for the truck. So, well, I shouldn't have said that, I. We're probably going to get stuck now. But uh, I have been getting some new all terrain boots for the truck. So, it has upped my confidence in driving across the fields and stuff like that. So, but like I say, we'll crack on and see how we'll get on. Hopefully, we'll get some footage for you along with the nighttime stuff uh, and then we'll see about dropping down into the valley down the bottom to where we're normally zero which is at that farm over there in the distance on the other side of what permission Hi, over there oh, I'm gonna shake along there we go over there that's on the other side of the railway tracks on the other side of what permission 
Yeah, uh, we'll drop down and we'll uh, we'll do a bit of a target shooting with the, the HMRs and the 22 LO. So catches up with you later. I'll catch up with you later, should I say? Definitely delusional. Right folks, as we said earlier on the other video, um, Gary is somewhere, if I find him, there's he, there he is, he's up there, that's 100 yards, um, I've got my truck parked out the way, about 55 yards, uh, at a safe distance, that's where I'll be hiding, um, he's just checked zero, and done a 10 shot group and a fucking Zoom in on this. Apart from two flyers which I've already patched, that's a 10 shot group at 100 yards with the 17 HMR. I've put his uh, stuff up there. There's the, the info CZ455 rifle, 17 HMR. The ammo he's using is Hornady V Max. Uh, what we're going to do, you can see he's checked 0 to 100 um, on the right hand target there. He's now going to do five shot groups at 100, 150, and we're going to go a bit extreme and go up to 200 and see what sort of bullet drop we've got because uh, we've not really uh, done out like that. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to zoom back down onto the 100 left hand target. He's going to do a five shot group. I'm going to give him a shout on the radio and let him know he's clear to fire as soon as I'm out the way. So I'll leave it to it for now and I'll come back shortly. Ah, 
That's not bad actually. About an inch out, he pulled one. Uh, you've got one centre dot, Gary. You've got one half inch right of centre. You've got two stacked on top of each other, inch right of centre. And one pulled bottom inch and a half, five o'clock. Ah, right, there we go. So, right, uh, that's the 100. So, we're now going to move back to 150. And I'll just lift the camera up so you can see the 150 target. Um, like I say, we didn't really know the aim points um, for this. We're just going to aim for centre dot and just make a group where the bullet lies and uh, measure it later. So, we'll just pause the camera now and move back to 150 then restart it when we're ready so I'll catch us in a minute all right there's Gary out at 150 if I just zoom all the way back you can see it's kind of long distance so if I spin round there's the target I'm just going to put the camera back on the tripod again and I'll get back out the way There you go, 150. Right, I'll see you shortly once he's finished his group. Like you see, it's got me another five shot group. So we'll see where the uh, where the bullet drop lies. There we go. Right, so there we're gone. He's I was putting the bottom of the post on the bottom of the target. The bottom of the post and the bottom of the target. Right, so you've got three off to the left by about inch and three quarters. One's actually gone off target. Then you've pulled back onto target. You've got one about quarter inch away from bull and one about an inch to five o'clock away from Bull. Are you all low or about the right height? Yeah, about a quarter inch low. Uh, your two bottom ones are about uh, an inch low, both left and right. And your one that you've got off target is about two and a half inches. So, right, so like I say, what we're going to do, we're going to Pull back up on um, 200 yards and just see where we're going from 200 yards. So we'll see you again shortly. Right, I forgot to come back and press the record button because I was too busy talking. Um, as you can see underneath, what we've got is there's a group there. It's about an inch and a half in diameter. Um, we've gauged that it's a half a mil dot on the uh, reticle, on the MTC reticle that um, he needs at 150 so I'm going to give it half a mil dot name for bull and see what sort of group we can pull so like I say I'm going to disappear again uh, so I don't get shot and uh, I'll come back when he's done the group so there you go, another five shot group okay mate I'm just going to retire so it's safe Great, uh, not exactly went to plan, but uh, we'll give him a benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna go and stick another sticky on and we'll, we'll get him to do another one. So we'll just pause the camera a couple of seconds. Right, there's a new patch for him, so we'll give him a shout and uh, he can try again. Well, you got one flyer, he's got one near bull, uh, and one gone high slightly, which is probably his breathing. But uh, 
not bad to be honest for uh, 150 yards like it's about an inch inch and a half so I'll get them to move back to 200 and we'll uh, we'll do a, another one at 200 and see how he gets on at 200 but well we've got enough fuel to get 200 and we're <laughs> it's uh, a little bit left to be desired so well he's on his way back up there now so I'll take the I'll take the camera off so you can see him walking back and that we're not cheating so I'm even off the camera will uh, pick him up only got 46 times oh there he is there you go there you go so there's 200 there's my rifle at 150 with all the rest of his gear so just to show you how far it is uh, he's a speck in the distance ah, right, so it looks as though I've got a guy moving my rifle and my ammo or his ammo should I say so bear with us and uh, zip that back in Right, just had an inspection of the target. As you can see, it's, it's drifted down and slightly to the left. So, it needs to really compensate for that. So, we're going to give him another run at it. All right for height, Lego. One's all right for height, the rest of them have dropped about two inches short. Go and try again. Ah, oh, flying hour. You've only got one on target. Well, you see, it's just for fun. You cannot see the target, so we'll just call it a day there, and uh, we'll make a target up, and I'll have a go myself. Right, guys, what we're going to do? We're going to do exactly the same as what I've just done. Um, well, Darren's going to do it. He's got his uh, CZ455, exactly the same as mine. Um, check 0 to 100. Then we're going to go back to 150, then 200. Um, it's not so much about hitting the target, it's more about grouping size. So he's going to use the same the same point to aim at and try and get as tight as group as possible. I wasn't very happy with mine, um, especially at the 200 mark. But this is just... Really, it's just for interest. Um, I'd be a little bit uncomfortable taking 200 meter shots at the minute, um, so I probably wouldn't do it anyway. But you know, so we're going to set down away. I'm going to move back to a safe distance, leave the leave the camcorder here on the on the tripod, and uh, let Darrell do his stuff. Right, uh, you pulled one fly to the bottom, six o'clock, and the other four stacked on top of each other, ten o'clock. What's that, right one click, aye? I come right to click, mate. So, that was going to check, recheck his zero. He's going to come uh, come right to click, just to pull uh, that grouping across. That one by itself at the bottom is a, he's probably pulled it. Uh, but yeah, the four pretty pretty much stacked on top of each other, so he just needs to come across a bit. And uh, that should be him. When you ready, man, up here, I'm going back. I'm going to look at the 
Um, you got four around, right around the red. Uh, your first one was a little bit low, so I, I, I wouldn't change a zero on that man. I would leave it. Are you gonna drop back to one fifty? Alright guys, so what Darl's going to do now, he's going he's gonna to drop back to 150, do exactly the same as me, just find where his point of aim is, um, and then get a tight grouping as tight as he can. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Right, so that's him just setting up on the 150 mark, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move back to a safe, a safe place, and we'll leave the camera running. Right, so Darrell was aiming uh, dead centre for target on crosshairs. You can see where the shots have landed. Um, so he's now he's going to compensate for where his shots landed and hopefully bring them up on the target. Uh, as you can see guys, he's moved it up, brought them on the target, um, that's at 150 metres, his last one he didn't control his breathing and it pulled it high. Uh, should know his marksmanship principles by now, the old kid, never mind. Um, he's shooting better than me today, it was the opposite way around last week. I shot better than him last week, it's his turn this week. Everybody who does shooting though, you kind of hit the target 100% every time. I wish I could mind. I'd make a fortune. So, are you dropping back to two? He's already away. So what he's gonna do now, he's gonna drop out of 200, do exactly the same. Right hand side, right hand side, he's gonna uh, send off target, see where they fall. And then left hand side, correct and adjust, and bring it on the target, hopefully. Right, so he's just getting himself set up with the 200. Um, I'm going to move back to a, a clear, clear area now, and uh, exactly the same. Right hand side, see where they fall. Left hand side, adjusting on the target, hopefully. Alright man, probably about inch and a half grouping. There you guys, so you can see where all these shots land. Um, he's going for the, the top right and the landed below the middle one. Just shows how much drop off he's got. Um, so what I think he's going to do now, he's going to adjust, bring it up and hopefully uh, hit the target. And that'll be his end point at 200. Ah, you've got four on target, mate. Um, one of them's just outside. One, one centre, and the other one's uh, between four and six o'clock, just on the edge. But for two hundred, can't argue, really. You know, you're, you're on target, and the target's only what, probably a two-inch circle. So it's not that bad. Uh, I think about two and a half inch, mate. So still a dead rabbit if I hit it in the head, like. Oh, it's a dead rabbit, definitely, mate. For 200 metres, uh, 200 yards, I can't argue with that. Your turn to shoot good today. It was my turn last week, it's your turn this week. Aye. Uh, um, right, see, I'm not those wood tech uh, 200 yard rabbit shots, like, you know what I mean? It's all a bit of fun. But just got to show what the rifle's capable of, doesn't it? Aye, ah, that's what I was just saying earlier on. Uh, two, the 200 shot, the 200, uh, 200 yard marks just for, just to see for us, really. Um, 150 smack on like, can't argue with that neither. Alright, I'm gonna put another five in the two. 
100. Um, I've got eight, eight rounds left in this box, so I'll just finish this till we're off here and see how close I can get to the ball with the rest of it. Try and get it well done. Ah, well, your right hand target's clear if you want to go for that one. Uh, right, so you heard what Dar was going to do. He's got, he's got eight rounds left. Um, he's going to try and get a tighter group on the right hand side. I'm going to move back to a clear spot and uh, let him crack on. Right guys, what we're going to do, um, Darren's going to come back down to this point, I think we're going to go and have a cup of coffee, uh, and see what, I think we're going to have a, have a look and see what the crows are like with the shotguns, um, don't know if we'll get any footage on that one, we're still working on a, on a scope type cam for the shotguns, uh, but when we do we'll, we'll put it up and you can have a look, so we'll catch you up with you a bit later on, cheers for watching. Cause the fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine